I had recently spawned a new world in single player Minecraft. Everything was normal at first before when I began chopping down trees and crafting a wood workbench. I noticed something moving down monster dense fog. I have a very slow computer, so I have to play with a tiny reindeer dance reindeer distance. So I thought it was a cow, so I pursued it, hoping to grab some hides for armor. But it wasn't a cow though. Looking back it was just another character with a default skin. His eyes were empty and no name popped up. I double clicked to make sure it wasn't I wasn't in multiplayer mode. He didn't stay long. He just looked at me quickly and then ran into the fog. I pursued out of curiosity, but he was gone. I continued on with the game, not sure of what to think, as I expanded all the things that seemed out of place. Placed a random map generator that take me to two times two tunnels and the rocks, a small perfect pyramid for sand in the ocean, the groves of the trees and all the leaves cut off. I could constantly think of that other player in the deep fog, but I never got to a better look at him. I tried increasing my reindeer their distance to far where I thought I saw him, but to no avail. I saved the map and went onto the forums to see if anyone has found the the weird, weird player, but there were none. I created my own topic talking about the man and asking if anyone had the similar experience. The post was later deleted within a few minutes, minutes, and then I tried again and the topic was deleted even fast. I received a PM from the user named Herobrine, containing the one word stop. When I looked at the Herobrine's profile, the, pic the page said 404D. I received an email from another user. He claimed that the mods that he can read the forum from user messages, so we were safe for using the email. The email mailer claimed that he had seen the mystery player too, and he had a small directory from the other users who had seen him as well. Their world was like littered with, with obviously a man and features as well, as described in their mystery players to no pupils. About a month after I passed and I heard from that format again, some of the people have encountered the mystery and they also looked into the name Herobrine and found out it was named usually Franklin by a Swedish gamer. After some fervor and gathering, it was revealed to be the brother of Notch, the gamer's developer. I personally emailed Notch and asked him if he had a brother. It took him a while, but he emailed me back very short message. I did, but he is no longer with us. From Notch. I haven't seen to be able to, to about this mystery man since our first encounter, and I've never noticed any changes in the world other than my own. I was able to press print on screen and that's what I saw. The evidence of his existence. And that, my little pretties, was Herobrine, a Minecraft creepypasta. My final thoughts on the story? Wow, I have to say this one was actually a pretty interesting, well-made Minecraft creepypasta. Now, I'm definitely gonna say, it was actually really well-made, despite the fact, well, describing the fact that the grammar of his own self was pretty good, along with the sentence structuring, the storyline, basically everything about it was just... Oh my goodness, it's just flat on amazing. Like, I've been looking for a good Minecraft creepypasta for like a while, and I just found a really good Minecraft one. Like, this one is actually a, a pretty good Minecraft creepypasta. Like, I definitely have to say that this is actually pretty believable. Describe what the parent, what the, well, the author actually was saying. So with that being the case, I can actually say that this story was actually pretty well made. It's a pretty good story, I definitely have to say. Like, this Minecraft creepypasta, I've seen, like, a few people have narrated this. I know Mr. Creepypasta narrated it. I've seen quite a few people actually sat there and, uh, well, narrated this um, Minecraft creepypasta. Which, I have no idea why not a lot of people um, really, you know, touched this Minecraft creepypasta. Like, it's actually a pretty good pasta. This Minecraft one was just, oh my goodness. It was really well made and detailed. It was pretty good with that matter. So I could definitely say that the grammar itself was actually really good, along with the sentence structuring, the storyline, basically everything about it was just flat out amazing. And that's definitely saying something because it was pretty well made and detailed. Like, I really do like how this went out. It was really well made and detailed. It was amazing very well done i really, really like that so i could definitely say there's definitely a lot of concepts so 
The grammar was good, not gonna lie. The sentence structuring was good. The paragraph structuring was good. I even liked the fact that it was just very believable. Like, this story was very, very, very believable. Now, I could definitely say that this story was actually um, very believable in a matter of way. It's actually pretty well made and detailed, and I actually have to say it was a pretty good story. So, with that being the case, I actually found this story to be rather enjoyable and really well done. So, I could definitely say that this is, like, all very believable. And, you know, the ending scene that it's, um, that he asked uh, this, um, about this hero Brian if he was, like, a brother to them. So, my, my thoughts are on this, and this is definitely something. So, I have a theory that what could have happened is maybe the brother... Like, what happened is, well, maybe the brother wanted to add his character or something in it. But when he did add it in it, for some reason, I'm not really saying if it is true or not. But for some reason, you know, the brother ended up making the character try to run or something. Like, I think that's just my theory, but you guys can, like, have your own theories. If you guys have any theories in the comments below, feel free to do so. So... And I definitely have to say, I really do like this gaming pasta. I know maybe writing a gaming pasta nowadays may not be easy thing, the easiest thing to do. But it's not impossible to make a good, well, lost game pasta. And this one is actually one of them that did have time and effort into it. And there's no, well, there's a few, maybe one or two cliches that I do know that are in this. But I'm willing to excuse it as it actually fits out well with the whole concept itself. It's a pretty good story, I definitely have to say to the author, you did a pretty good job with this story. So to the author, you did a great job. So with that being the case, I definitely really like how this story went out. It was awesome, really well made. It was pretty good in regulations to that. So with that being the case, I am going to sit there and say this right now that, well, this is actually a short review. I can't really say anything about what I did not like or did like. But I didn't like because I liked all of it. It was pretty well made in detail. It's believable too. So I could definitely say that this story was really well made in detail. And it actually fit out well. You know, with the whole concept itself. It's pretty good and well made in relations to that. So I could definitely say hey, that, that this story was actually really good. So with that being the case, um, and like I'm always going to continue to say, this is simply my own personal opinion, and if you happen to disagree with me, that's fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions regards to these um, creepypastas, and this is simply my own personal thoughts. My final rating of this story would have to be a 10 out of 10. It was a pretty good Minecraft creepypasta. Very good, really well made. I really do appreciate the author for putting his or her time and effort into it. But the thing is, though, I don't know who the original offer is right now. It doesn't say. So if I do find out who the original offer is, I'll be sure to give him or her proper credit. If I do find out who the original offer is, I'll be sure to give him or her proper credit. So with that being the case and with that being said, what did you guys think about this creepypasta? Did you all enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what we have done first to help make this story a lot better? Leave me now what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. I'm the Queen of Lions. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you happen to be brand new here on this channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to when I upload so that you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Peace out. And as always, please roll the outro because I'm out.